Hey everybody, uh, welcome to video 29 where I'm going to show you how to add a UTM grid into your ArcMap project and then export it as a PDF. So in previous videos we've been working uh, classifying an image of Yellowstone National Park after the 1988 wildfires. So we did this nice classification, we cleaned up our image a little bit, and now we may want to export that classified map um, with a UTM grid. And of course a UTM grid is helpful if you want to use the map in the field, for example, to locate yourself. So in this video I'll quickly show you uh, what a UTM projection is, and then I'll quickly show you how to add that UTM grid in ArcMap. So the Universal Transverse Mercator, or UTM projection, is actually a set of 60 different Mercator projections. And each one is basically defined by a rectangular box um, that can either be in the northern or the southern hemisphere. And the key idea is that each of these boxes has its own coordinate system. So if you're going to define your UTM coordinates, you also need to always define which UTM zone or box you're in. And here's an example for the United States. We're spanned by nine or ten different UTM zones. In Vermont, we're in UTM zone 18N, where N stands for north. And so within one of these zones, how do the coordinate systems actually work? Everything is relative to an origin point, which is set to be uh, zero latitude at the equator. And it's always set to be zero when it's 500,000 meters west of the central meridian. So this is the zero, zero point, And this central meridian, then, will always have a coordinate of 500,000. And the bottom of the box will always have a, a north-south coordinate of zero for example. OK, and keep in mind the UTM coordinate system is always in meters, not degrees. And that's pretty handy. It's also a projected coordinate system, which means that areas and distances should be accurately represented on your map. OK, so let's quickly go into ARC and look at how to put this UTM grid on the project. So here's my classified image of Yellowstone. Here's Yellowstone Lake. And at this point, all I want to do is put a UTM grid on and export it. So I always like to look at this in the layout view. So I'll click to layout view here at the bottom. And I'll get rid of this uh, tool. And zoom out a little bit. I can do that with these tools. And so now I can use this and I can see my whole page. So that's what my, my export's going to look like. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit just to uh, get a little more detail. Maybe we're interested in Yellowstone Lake a little bit. OK, and so now I'm going to add the UTM grid. And you can add any latitude or longitude grid by just going to View, uh, Data Frame Properties, and then New Grid. And here's a key point in the process. If I choose Graticule, that's going to add basically latitude and longitude lines onto my image. If I choose a measured grid, that's going to basically uh, add a grid in terms of map units. In this case, that's going to be a UTM projection because my project is already in uh, a UTM coordinate system. So I'll hit Next. And so it is telling me that I'm in a a transverse mercator uh, with a false easting of 500,000 and a false northing of zero, just like we just talked about. Um, and so now what I can choose is what my interval should be. And maybe I'll do a two kilometer by two kilometer grid. That might end up being a little small, but it's OK. So my, my lines are going to be spaced at two kilometers. And then I have all these other options I can choose, of course, where I want to have ticks and divisions. I can think about the labeling. Uh, I can choose borders. And then I'll hit Finish. And I'll just hit OK. And sure enough, it's now popped up this nice grid of UTM lines. And if we zoom in on that, what's really nice about this is each line is actually labeled with um, 
the actual UTM coordinate of that line. So for example, this line is literally 4,942,000 meters north of the equator, right? And these lines of longitude, this is 540,000 meters east of the origin. So uh, keep in mind, these coordinates are always relative to that center point that we talked about. OK, so you've got your grid in. And now you'd probably want to export this map so you can take it to the field. And just a reminder, to do that, you'd go to File, Export Map, and then save it as a PDF or a JPEG. Thanks for listening, everybody.